This benchmark might sound totally stupid, but most AI models couldn't solve it. In fact, the best model that could solve this is just 75% on easy mode and 57% on medium mode, and there is no hard mode yet. So this is a new benchmark that I just came across. It's called Solo Bench. Solo here stands for Single Occurrence Linguistic Output. What are the abilities of a language model? This particular benchmark measures is quite amazing. So basically this benchmark gives a list of words and then tells the AI agent certain tasks, certain instructions. And in this case, it should not use any external tool and it should not use any programming language. So purely testing the LM's ability to create 250 unique sentences that are exactly four words long in a particularly specific grammar format, which is simply verb plus adjective plus noun plus noun, verb plus adjective plus noun plus noun. And these are the rules. And once you give this rules with this word list, that itself hits about like 10,000 tokens. So they are measuring the input understanding, like it's like a needle in a haystack. But the most important thing is the models should use only words from this given list and the model should not repeat a single word for all the 250 sentences it is making. So every single word is going to be unique and it has to be from the word list and it has to follow the rules. So this benchmark aims to evaluate the long context input and output performance, memory, how much model can understand from its in context, instruction following because we are asking it to create a specific pattern, the reasoning ability and is it hallucinating by introducing a new word all in one single benchmark. And the best part about this particular benchmark is this is completely open source. Anybody can just go here and then start using it. It comes with MIT license. And this benchmark also means that there is no single correct answer. So LLM companies cannot easily max the benchmark, benchmark maxing. And it also doesn't use LLM as a judge or human as a, you know, some kind of a reference. So that could also lead to bias, which we have seen in LM arena, LMSIS arena. And this is very objectively evaluated. There is a rule script, which is going to evaluate this. It's simple Python code. And it also shows great separation between different models. One important thing when you are designing a benchmark is that your benchmark should make these models look apart so that you can trust the benchmark. And most of all, this benchmark is not going to ruin your pocket because this costs less than five cents to run uh, evaluation for each model. And it does not require any evaluation harness or any suit. All you need to do is you need to select the models and they've given the code for you to run it. So if you were to understand how the code works, it's very simple. So you've got certain ex external components, which is using open router API and through open router API, it is accessing the large language models. So now you've got the input text, which I'll show you shortly. It has got all the information about it. So the input text is given to openrouter.py file, which goes to the open router API, looks at all the LLMs and then runs this benchmark and the benchmark is evaluated. And then finally the score is given for evaluation of the benchmark. It uses the eval.txt. Then you've got the nouns.txt, adjectives.txt, verbs.txt, words.txt. That's it. It uses all these things, gives you a final score about how much this model, like for a given model, it managed to give you the right answer. So in the case of Gemini 2.5 Pro, it has scored 75%. O3 has scored 56%. Start looking at all the other models, like for example, DeepSeek R1 has scored only 28%. It's also very interesting benchmark. It's not programming, it's not creative writing, but you are literally telling the LLMs to follow instructions and that's something that they have to do. And also they have to pick only from the in context that you have given. So I do not know how this is going to translate to a creative task, let's say a coding task, but I found it pretty fascinating that LLMs are very bad. Like the LLMs that we love, like for example, Llama 4 Maverick, 4%, just like 4%, Quen 3, 32 billion parameter model, just 5%, DeepSeek V3, 20%, Deep Seek R1, 28%. So it's very fascinating to see that such a simple, dumb, stupid, you know, it's like, you know, you go to like a fifth standard student and ask them to do this thing. If you give them a list of words, they do not need to have like a huge a set of knowledge there unless basic grammar. But the fact that LLMs cannot do this makes it really, really perplexing. So this benchmark comes in two different flavors. One is the easy mode. The second one is the medium mode. The easy mode asks LLMs to create this output sentence as 250 and the medium mode asks the LLMs to create 500 sentences. 
And if you see the easy mode, you would have already seen all these models. But if you see the medium mode, it's very fascinating that there is only one model that crosses even 50%, which is Google's 2.5 Gemini 2.5 Pro and every other model is below 20%. So if you were to go use this particular benchmark, this is available on GitHub repo. I'm going to give you the GitHub repo in the YouTube description, start the repo. It should mean a lot to the developer. So the developer has open sourced it. The instructions are there. If you want you to do the own evaluation, there is solo bench.py. You can go read the Python code. It clearly explains you how it is evaluating. It's an objective evaluation, nothing like Elemsys arena. And I went to Google AI studio, selected Gemini 2.5 pro and gave the same question, create 250 sentences that adhere to the following rules must use only one word exactly as they appear in the below word list. Each word can only be used once. Once a word is used, it cannot be reused in other sentences. Each sentence must follow the structure verb plus adjective plus noun plus noun. Each sentence must contain four exactly four words. Do not use any tools or code to accomplish the task. Do not output the entire word list in your thinking stage. It is too long and you will run, run out of thinking tokens. Return only a number list with one sentence on each line. All the words here. So you have got like a lot of words here. I think it's about like 4000 words, I guess. And these words are given to it. This case, in this case, Gemini 2.5 Pro thought for three minutes almost and then came up with like this final answer. So I've not run it through any evaluation, but you can see this is the evaluation for Gemini 2.5 Pro. It scored 75%. And I believe, strongly believe this model once it gets updated with the latest Gemini 2.5 Pro update, it might do much better than before. I'm not sure about it, but this is very fascinating benchmark it might sound dumb, but for some reason, LLMs are struggling with this. And let me know what do you think about this benchmark. See you in another video. Happy prompting.